Sakura de Yaseni To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin To Vlogmas <laughs> day 528. I wish it was still Vlogmas. No, it could be. No, it's snowing. I, I know. It's snowing in the snow. Look at this, guys. It's snowing. It's not really sticking, though, is it? It's been snowing all. <laughs> Miles in his hoodie once again. Well, look, we should write something cute on here. I heart bluebell. Uh. <laughs> no, Niall, I thought we were drawing boobs then. You <laughs> shouldn't even them. work. No, I'm not showing them. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. It's Monday. I'm not sure. So no, it's what are you told us a banana? Niall, I'm not showing that. It's You're so rude. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. For <laughs> You can probably see it from it's here. Ew, uh, Niall! <laughs> Shush! You're so rude! I need to put it on my story. No, you don't. Check You're such a boy. Goes. You're such a typical boy. Oh, no, you, the moment you start drawing something in anything. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody. It's Monday and I haven't seen you in so long. And I'll tell you all about it and where I've been, etc. Um, a bit later, but me and Nal are actually just about to make some breakfast together. We've got Shrek on. Love a bit of Shrek. I love Shrek. I've been watching all of the films back to back recently because they've got them on Sky Cinema. I love it. But yeah, it's a new week. It's Monday. And me and Nal are just actually about to make some breakfast together, aren't we? Yeah. Making some brekkie and it's one of our recipes. Bell's bark is so good. <laughs> that looks hilarious. You're such a boy. And I'm not mentioning it. It's just going to be there. No, I'm going to rub no. that out. That's so... I don't want that Show in my garden. My all. They don't care. So, Willie, get over it. Show them. It looks so... Cool. I've shown them! Such a they nice... don't care that much. Garden, it's cold, it's snowing. And then Willie nice. on our fire pit. Are you so pleased with yourself? Can we please tell them what we're about to cook, please? We're going to be doing a, 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 a naughty bagel. A naughty bagel? Why is it naughty? I, I, I put in the group chat, I'm making a naughty, naughty bagel. And You're turning Carl it said, into an English tradesman. Naughty. Naughty, naughty. It's a naughty bagel. <laughs> Carl said, let's call it that for the app. Naughty, naughty bagel. Yeah, okay. Come on then, let's go make My it. My naughty, naughty baby. So we're, we've been, well, not we. <laughs> Niall's been trying some new recipes to pop in Beyond. And this one, I think, is going to be in it. So, yeah, we're going to make it this morning for breakfast. So it'll be a nice way to start the week with a good, hearty, naughty bagel. Get ready. Niall's just been making some cookies, which look lovely. Well, they're not done yet, are they? And he was sharing the cookie dough with the dogs, which is very naughty. It's alright. They deserve it. Thank you. No chocolate in there, though. Don't worry, guys. They didn't have the ruby chocolate. Right. That ruby chocolate, that's what they do in Bake Off. These is little it? pink chocolates. Yeah, it's like really intense chocolate, isn't it? Well, it's like it's like white chocolate with a bit of a sort of rosy taste to it. I've never tried it until you strawberry. got it for this. Anyway, so. in today's bagel, we're gonna have. Are we doing hash brown today? Uh, yeah, you can have a hash brown. Have a hash brown in the bagel. bagel. Bacon, egg, bagel. But you couldn't leave the bacon out if you wanted veggie. You guys said that you wanted more like veggie. Yeah, there are lots vegan more recipes. veggie recipes coming. Yeah, that's what we've been working on. So leave good. the bacon out. Yeah. And it's veggie. There we go. So we've got bacon, hash brown, egg, bagel, lots of sauces. Bit of ketchup, bit of mayo, bit tiny of bit of cheese, and a bit of lettuce, that's it. Bit of cheese. There we go. So Are we going to show making it or not? 
Yeah. Or right. you could do one of your, do you want to do one of your little montages? Yeah. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's yeah. not that much to show. But yeah. Oh, go on. Do it, because you've got your little egg holder thing, which is cute. Cue the Nile montage. <laughs> No! <laughs> what you do is just get this, you go. Bagel is done. It's looking, oh my god, look at that. So saucy. So I'm going to eat that and watch some more Shrek. And these two are currently playing a game that we've started playing, aren't we? So basically, we get the ball and we put it in the coffee table and I have to try and get it. It's so cute. Look at him. I don't think you can see. Go on, Baz, you can do it. <laughs> Go on, Bluey. bathroom floor and I am dying my eyebrows right now as you can see <laughs> um, I just thought that I'd have a catch up with you because I feel like I haven't really done that yet we've just been making bagels with Niall being silly drawing willies outside <laughs> so yeah I literally haven't filmed with you for so long now it's been 10 days it's actually going to have been two weeks when this vlog goes up since I posted which feels really really weird but basically I just decided I, I got to a bit of a stage where I was just in a little bit of a rut mentally and I felt, I don't know, I can't even describe it now because it feels like I'm in a totally different mindset to when I was because I was, I was just, I felt like I was stuck in a hole and I just felt dried up, that's how I kind of described it on Instagram, <laughs> my eyebrows look hilarious, they aren't going to look like this for much longer, just in case you're wondering as well, this is the dye that I use on my eyebrows, it's amazing i don't actually ever go even before lockdown to get them done professionally because that stuff's so good but yeah anyway i just decided to have a little bit of a break i, I hate doing that like i really didn't want to do it because i was like i want to chat with you lot and i just i don't know i was in such a weird place i needed to to remove myself from the situation because it wasn't getting better and i was getting so annoyed at myself for being in a rut and not feeling like confident enough to film myself anymore it was so strange but also you know as i did say a few weeks ago like this lockdown i've personally found a lot more difficult i don't know if any of you not have it was it's not january anymore <laughs> which i'm really glad about because january is so gray and dark and obviously after christmas it's always a bit weird but especially being in lockdown during january is weird and um yeah just missing people and, and life and it's hard to like look and make plans and look to future things isn't it because we just everything's so uncertain but I think we're on the home stretch and my grandma's had her, her vaccine well her first one which is I'm really really glad about and anyway, I'm not going to talk about coronavirus but I don't know I, was, I felt so strange I felt so unconfident and I felt like everything I was Thinking of talking to you guys about was going to be really boring. These eyebrows are developing so fast. <laughs> I want to like speed up from when I said hi to now because I think they just develop massively in colour. Oh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to take them off actually. 
I've got loads on my skin. No, no, we're gonna have to remove, hang on. <laughs> I bought. Okay, I think I salvaged them. Yeah, I did. I think if I left them on much longer, I would have had really dyed skin around my eyebrows. And to be fair, I think that was probably enough time because they look quite a bit darker, but not too much. So, fabulous. Eyebrows are done. <laughs> But anyway, I really hope you guys are okay. I really did miss you last week. I did I did need it. I needed to take some time for myself and just refresh myself. I was yeah, just feeling really strange. But I'm glad to be back chatting with you. Um I feel really sad that I didn't I wasn't chatting with you when my Bow and T edit went live. I'm so happy that so many of you seem to love it and so many of you said when you've got the pieces that they just made you feel so confident and you never usually wear colour. The feedback was amazing and I'm just so pleased that so many of you seem to love it on and it made you feel really good because that's why I wanted to do it. I wanted it to make you feel powerful and amazing so I'm really glad that it seemed to do that. Let me know if you did grab anything because I don't feel like we've discussed it on here because I was awake. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we've already done it. Don't worry, Hen. We avoided the... Tom Cruise look. <laughs> Spent a lot of time last week actually working on my app Beyond, which was really good actually. It's quite difficult now because obviously I've got this new business Beyond. There's so much work going on behind the scenes for it because I want it to keep developing and keep growing to be, you know, the app that everybody wants it to be and what I want it to be. I want to keep listening to your feedback and adding more, more to it and more content, which I was doing a lot last week but it's not very interesting to film. So I'm like, I love vlogging with you lot, but then I've got all this beyond work to do all the time that isn't very interesting for you to watch, but we'll work it out. It's just a new period. There's been a lot of progress in our house, which I'm very, very happy about. And I'm going to give you a full update a bit later because the builders are all there and we're trying to keep a little bit of distance from all of it going on, obviously for safety but I'll give you a big update. It looks like a different room. The staircase is in, the floor's in. <laughs> They're painting at the moment. It's so exciting. It looks like an entirely different room. I can't wait to show you, but I'll do that afterwards. Um, but yeah, I just felt like it was so much to update you on. I can't even think right now what I want to tell you, but I hope you're all, you've all had a good few weeks. And um, oh, also the other thing I wanted to talk to you a little bit about was just, how I'm gonna be doing my videos now. So I know at the beginning of this year, so weird, Niall mentioned Vlogmas this morning, but at the beginning of this year, I said to myself, I did so many vlogs during December. I love them. I love day in, kind of day in the life vlogs. And I did so many of them obviously during December while it was Vlogmas, five a week. And <laughs> I always think after that, going back to two a week will be so easy. Like thinking of, things to vlog two times a week rather than five, so easy. I literally have just been like, I don't know what to talk to you about at the moment. Basically, I did say that I was gonna be doing just sort of vlogs now, but I feel like I'm too boring. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I think, is actually go back to what I did before Vlogmas and during the summer lockdown, which I loved doing, which was my weekly vlog, which is this video. So I'm gonna film bits throughout the week that are interesting. It just means that we'll get little bits of each day. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have one weekly vlog a week, which will be on Monday. And then the second video will probably be slightly more focused on something. So I'm thinking this week, I'm gonna do something. Oh, actually I know what I'm gonna do this week, but I'm gonna wait for you to see in the next video. But it'll be more sort of, you know, when me and I used to do date nights or when we did juicy q and a's or when we did i'm trying to think on the spot just something that's more like focus so it's not just a nothing you day in the life vlog just until more happens in life because at the moment not that much happens <laughs> anyway that's just a little bit of an update on the schedule but i need to actually carry on with my beyond work i've got lots of stuff to send over to my team um i've filmed eight Eight work, eight real-time workouts last week to go into the app. So I'm gonna sort those out. And then hopefully when the builders are all done, I'll give you a big update. So I also am gonna do a little bit of a declutter because because our house is, I'll, I'll show you actually. 
let me show you. Okay guys, prepare yourself. I probably wouldn't usually show you this because I'm kind of embarrassed at how much of a clutter and mess basically our entire house is but it is purely because of this building work being like at the center sort of connecting part of the house so <laughs> we are going to have a bit of a declutter even up here i am going to properly show you all this now but this room is a shambles because this is obviously niall's xbox room for now um because usually he plays in that room so yeah, he's just always in here and the bed always looks a mess. And then I've got my collection here with Bow and Tea, which is a big reason I want to declutter my wardrobe so that I can pop everything in. So that is going to be sorted. And I'm also going to sort through this because I've just left this like the last year. I've just left this looking like this and it looks awful. So we are going to have a declutter. Um, and also, as I did mention in a recent video, I am going to have a bit of a zhuzh of that room in general. A big reason I want to get rid of this rug, other than I just don't really like it and I think it makes it look like smaller, is actually, um, what's it called? It, what's the word? It not disintegrates <laughs> molts it molts constantly and we've had it for so long and i thought it would stop and it just doesn't we always get these big clumps of fluff everywhere so anyway that's for another day <laughs> we will be doing that probably next week also have this room which is not looking its finest because actually it doesn't look too bad but this wall is being repainted because it got a bit messed up during the building work because they had to like knock through the wall here to hold up the ceiling <laughs> down there but I started actually clearing out my wardrobe the other day so I'm going to go through that that's actually my active wear because I started with active wear for the bow and tea range to then go in because I just have lots of bits from over the years with companies that have sent me bits and just old bits that I just don't wear enough anymore so I'm just trying to be a bit lethal so I think we might sit down and properly go through that but maybe we won't do that today I'm not sure we'll see anyway so, <laughs> let's give you an update. I mean, this bit looks so different, doesn't it? How much nicer are these banisters? I don't know if you can remember the old ones, to be honest, but the stairs are in. There are gonna be banisters here too, like these, but um, they haven't yet done that because basically they need to fill in all this wall either side because that down through there, <laughs> which you can see by here, is oh no if the light was on in there you'd be able to see but you can see into the shower and that ensuite in there how nice do these stairs look though look so obviously as i said banisters and all of this wall and everything will be painted but the stairs are in aren't they so nice now they are so nice they are they are dreamy. I think they... I had a dream about them last night. Did you? I walked down them. <laughs> no, it makes such a difference though, walking there into there. It doesn't feel like you're walking straight into the front door. So, if, like, the front door feels separate now, which I think is so much nicer. Yeah, in a way, it's like it's cordoned that downstairs bedroom off better. Yeah, we could get a flipping lodger in there. <laughs> Uh, yeah. You can get a lodger in there. It's, it's cording that bit off whilst connecting this part to this part <laughs> of the house better. My arm, what was that? Oh my god. <laughs> the lodger just reminded me of what just happened before the builders left. It's so embarrassing, Basil. Oh, I thought you meant Brian. Yes. Now, our builder, he is just the best, isn't he? <laughs> I love him so much. He's called Brian. And um, he, his niece actually was the one who recommended him and his building company to me on Instagram because I was looking for reliable builders that didn't let us down because we were trying to get this sort of moving for a long time before it actually started. And he's just the best. <laughs> he's so funny. I want to film him more. <laughs> But as he was leaving, Basil lay, lay, lay on his back and was like putting his belly up at him. And he, actually, I don't know if I want to say this, it's a bit rude. A <laughs> he had a boner. I never experienced dogs that are boys well, and their boners. We were talking in there and then he just came in, rolled on his back and just fucking was like, have a look at my boner. <laughs> 
so weird. Anyway, if you have a boy dog, it's just nothing I've ever experienced until I had Basil, because like, obviously girls don't do it, and it just looks bizarre. <laughs> The lipstick is what they call it. Anyway, just reminded me because it was right by there and it was hilarious because then Brian pretended to, to join in. <laughs> anyway, back to the house update. So yeah, stairs is looking lovely and it just feels so much, it just feels so much more homely. Like when you walk down the stairs and you just go straight in there, it doesn't feel like you're walking straight into the front door. Um, and I, oh, oh, I've just turned all the lights off. We also had these lights put in on the weekend, which are now out because they were painted earlier. But how much brighter does that look? It just looks so different. Like how much better does it look? It's not all painted yet. They've only done like one layer, but the brightness of the white color makes such a difference as well. But I just wanted to say, actually, that's why I was here. How much, when these banisters go in, does that look like the inspo that I gave? I'm going to pop it on screen. I mean, a bit more like that. But how... It's just so... Exact. I can't believe how much it looks like I hoped it would. It's just so good. Anyway, so yeah, basically that... That is the update. All the wooden floor is down as well, but it's currently protected. But it's all the same as the floor in there. And the floor looks lovely, doesn't it? So if you see, it's the same. But then they're gonna obviously put a little connecting thing there. But I think it's just such a big transformation. I don't think we really took into account how much of a renovation it was really gonna be. We just thought, well, I just thought, knock down the wall, <laughs> then get a new stairs. It's just such a fiasco, but I'm really, really pleased with how it's going. We also actually had some spotlights put in here, which clearly needs to all be sorted still, <laughs> but it looks so much brighter in here and it's just so much better. I'm just so pleased. And then <laughs> look at this. That is the staircase, which was all very much on show. It's just, everything is everywhere right now. All the bedding's there, all the games and the books from the bookshelf that we had in that room's in here, and the doors are everywhere, the shoes. <laughs> the house is just a tip, but it will be lovely when it's done. Um, but I think that also kind of was affecting just like my creativity, because like, everything felt like really squished like and cluttered. And I always find, I don't know if you guys have it, but I, when things are messy in my house, my brain is messy <laughs> and I just can't think that straight. So yeah, I think that was another reason why I felt so strange for a long time. But anyway, little update. I feel like it's so, it's just, I'm so pleased. I can't, I, I said to Niles, like, I can't believe we've done this. It's just such a huge thing that we've done. And I just can't believe that it's our house. <laughs> Go! Go! <laughs> the legs! Go! You got go. strong legs, go baby on. boy. <laughs> salmon! <laughs> it's a flying salmon. Go on, get it! Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Squat champs. Bit of hit. Go! 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 <laughs> <laughs> he's, such a, he's such a boy, isn't he? Pazby, come here. <laughs> what have you got? Basil, let everyone see you cute face. Basil. Hey. Hey, Basil. Guys, I can't get over the natural light in this room. Look at that. It got sunlight on the stairs from the outside and it's not actually grey and dingy today. It's so nice in here. I'm just obsessed. Anyway, I wasn't actually going to, to show you that again because I do realise I did a whole tour yesterday. Tour? <laughs> I don't know who I think I am. Um, anyway, I was just about to open up two Amazon packages that I've ordered and I thought I would have a look with you. Happy Tuesday, by the way. I'm really enjoying this weekly vlog. Even though it's only Tuesday, I was going to say I'm really enjoying this vlogging every day different bits but we're not even really far into the week anyway I ordered something for work because something I use basically every day broke and I thought I'd show you it because I feel like lots of people ask like on filming equipment and equipment in general 
especially cameras. My camera is the Canon G7X Mark II, anyone who's wondering, and it's really, really good. However, it breaks quite easily and they're quite known to break, but they're very, very easy to use, so. Oh, I'm out of breath. Those new stairs <laughs> got me out of breath. Anyway, I ordered myself a new ring light because my other one has had its day. Do you know how long I've had the other one? I'm so, I can't believe how long it's actually lasted. I've had that other one since I started YouTube, which would have been, actually, how long ago did I start YouTube? Four years ago? No. Yeah, it must be. I don't know. Actually, speaking of that, something that a lot of you have asked me to do is react to my first ever YouTube video. So I thought maybe we'd do a little bit of that <laughs> because my first YouTube video is a shocker. <laughs> Anyway, we'll, we'll um, discuss that afterwards, but yeah, I ordered myself a new one because my other one, it just kind of, the mechanism of the ring light being attached to the stand just completely went and it's gone all floppy and basically I was filming one of my workouts the other day for Beyond and mid-workout I was doing like a plank or something and it just went and it's supposed to be like a real-time feel to the workout with no editing really. So, I thought, you know what, it's about time. <laughs> so I ordered this one on Amazon, which is the same as my other one. Funny story, I've actually ordered two other ring lights and sent them back, like, over the past few weeks. So I thought I'd try a sort of smaller, compact one. And then it came and they were just hilariously small and just not very good. So I went with the one that I know, which has lasted me for four years. So I will link this in the description box, anyone who wants a good ring light. I'm not going to set it all up now, because I don't... Mm, actually, no, no. I think I'll set it up tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm thinking of... Do you know what? Oh, guys, I've had such a nostalgic, like, 12 hours or more. Basically, right, I don't know what happened last night, which made me do it. Oh, basically, <laughs> one of my old YouTube videos popped up and it was the one where we told you and started building our home gym in the summer. And it made me so nostalgic of just like everything. It's like sparked something. Don't know if any of you ever have that. Seriously miss summer now. I think I just never like look back. Is anyone like that? I don't like look back at my past at all. <laughs> I kind of just keep moving forward. But then I look back and I'm like, oh, that was so good. And I don't know. I don't know why I don't look back at all. Even like as little as a year ago or six months ago, I don't ever think about the time then. But I was watching then my old summer lockdown videos. Really weird. I, I never watch back my YouTube videos, even though it's kind of a nice thing to do because they're like memories always there. But I still, I'm not a big fan of watching back myself. <laughs> and I was watching something. I was like, oh my god, we had so much fun and. I, I guess it's to do with summer and just that sort of summer feeling being in the garden and just I don't know we just had so much fun during summer I don't know if you were here when if you watched my um, summer vlogs last summer just like doing stupid things in the house obviously for a lot of summer we were in lockdown but we just entertained ourselves so much we did like stupid challenges I was watching a video where I Ice cream exploded on Nile that I made, which was hilarious. Oh, shake. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> no! I'll oh, just give them a <laughs> shake! And like when that, me and I were like drunk in the middle of the day one day and I was like opening up these weights in the garden and Niall's head popped out the bathroom window and he was, he was like, I'm tipsy in the toilet. The RB, I don't know how hard this is going to be to get into. Ooh. Oh my god, you scared me. I can actually see you there. Hey. Where are you? I'm a little bit tipsy in the toilet. <laughs> But yeah, I was just watching the back and all like the TikTok challenges we, we did. I used to play so many pranks on Niall, like... <laughs> oh god, I look like Russell Brand. That's a good thing, then. Alright. <laughs> That's my face. We found out another celebrity pranks. Is that... That's the TikTok? Pathetic. <laughs> ah! That was so funny. 
but it's just made me like really miss I feel like everything's been really serious and grey how I was describing it to Niall is like everything at the moment feels grey and even though we were in lockdown then and obviously not every day was great but it just felt more colourful and just brighter but I guess that is to do with the summer versus the winter and I never really look at it like that and I can't believe the difference in just everything I miss the live workouts that we used to do every day so much like so much I was like I just want to redo that now <laughs> not necessarily the lockdown thing but just having fun with nothing <laughs> that's basically what me and Al did in the summer but anyway I just had a massive like nostalgia and then I started thinking about missing friends and I was just like oh my gosh <laughs> that's why I don't reminisce but anyway, it made me think that I do want to, like, let loose a bit more and have some fun. And me and Nal were saying to each other, we've both just been, like, so serious recently. And I just miss being silly with him, so we're going to be more silly again. <laughs> we've made a pact. Um, anyway, I don't know what that has to do with my ring light. Oh, actually, it was because I want to start using TikTok again. Because I've been on TikTok this morning, which has procrastinated me massively, though. That's the only thing with TikTok, is you do get into a hole of just watching. But it's so feel-good. I stopped posting on there during Vlogmas, because I was just focusing on YouTube. But I miss it so much. There's just so many fun things to do, and, like, challenges, and it's just funny. Niall was saying that his TikTok is literally just... <laughs> like, younger girls twerking. <laughs> But that is just because whatever you watch for like a long, if you're scrolling on your For You page, if you watch something like that for over a few seconds, then the algorithm, I think, then just shows you stuff like that. Whereas mine is just like random things. I was just trying to learn this dance, actually. It's still on it. Look at this. Literally, that looks so easy. Watch me trying to do it. Hang on. <laughs> Let's get this off. Let's get serious. Even the leg bit is so fast. How do they move them so quick? I can do it all separate. I can do the hands separate. But they're, I just... Their legs move so quick. Okay, let, let's, let's ignore that. I need to get back on my TikTok game, clearly, because I can't do it anymore. <laughs> anyway, the other parcel that I ordered from Amazon was actually some bits to do my nails. So, I really, really wanted to have heart nails for Valentine's Day, which is on Sunday. And obviously, we can't go get our nails done, but I thought something I may actually be able to do is put on little sticky, not sticky, but put on little, let me show you. So I basically ordered some like nail stick on things. I don't know what you call them, gems. What I'm gonna try and do with my normal nail varnish, I'm gonna do a coat. So I've just got like normal pink nail varnish on. So I'm gonna do another coat on top because they're a bit chipped. <laughs> and then I'm gonna stick these on and then finish with a top clear coat. So I ordered just like one that was on Amazon. And then I ordered these little gems. So I I thought that because I'm quite liking the red and pink clash at the moment like I had in my bow and tea collection I thought I'd have a go at putting some red ones I mean it doesn't want to focus on my hands at all today <laughs> okay so I thought I'd, I'd have a go at putting some red ones maybe this color here on them and then finish with a top coat I mean they probably will last like a day <laughs> but I'm gonna try and then if they do only last like a day or two with the gem then I think I'll just do it on Saturday so I've got them for Sunday when it's for no reason whatsoever but I just really want heart nails all of a sudden so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I also ordered this little tool to stick them on with because I think what you do I'm running out of battery, hang on, let me just get my battery and then we'll start doing, actually doing it. Right, so basically these are the little tools that I ordered to pick up the hearts with. This won't focus on it for some reason. <laughs> Hello! There we go. So essentially what my idea was, 
was to put a bit of nail glue on it to be able to grip the heart with this but then I realised I don't have any nail glue so we're going with eyelash glue <laughs> but it's basically just so that the heart like clings on to this but it may not work but I'm gonna give it a go oh 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 we've got it so I've painted just one nail because I thought otherwise they might oh yes <gasps> I think it's gonna work I think it's gonna work it's a bit wonky but Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I think as long as the nail varnish is wet, it'll stick okay. Because I was thinking as well, maybe I need actual nail glue to stick the heart down onto the nail varnish. But then I think the nail varnish will hold it. And then I'll just top it with the clear coat to secure it. So fingers crossed. I'm going to speed you up. And I... Because <laughs> I'm literally a talking body at the moment. But I'm going to speed you up and I'll show you at the end how I did and if it worked, because I think this is such a good DIY nail art. I mean, you can get loads of little, oh gosh, it's really bright suddenly. You can get loads of little baby butterflies like these, which are so cute, actually. So really good little DIY nail art idea. But anyway, I will report back. Tomorrow, there's no time to so pleased they're still drying but it worked I am so pleased although they, it was very very fiddly so I mean I don't know how long these hearts are gonna stay on I will let you know but very cute for now I think oh look at Bluey in the snow she looks so pretty Bessie come here show us your bramble show us your bramble bum <laughs> it's got an extension Fuzzy, <laughs> we need to remove. No, 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 come back. <laughs> oh, look, he's, <laughs> he's broken it, he's just got a little twig. Fuzzy, wait. Fuzzy, we need to get this off. Stop moving. Right. Wait there, wait. He's <laughs> got an extension. Oh dear, you're a bit of a shambles, aren't you, Baz? Horizon in the far Excuses were too for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was is a Do you like the sound of that, Baz? Basil, do you like the sound of that? I'm so excited. What the heck? Why are you getting... <laughs> Excuse me, naughty oh, girl. Do you think they turn alive? Do you think they will? I don't know. I think Basil's probably just going to go to the big pile at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. Right, move out of the way because we need to make another line now. <laughs> oh, what, are you going to do it at the same time? Yeah. Two at the same time? Work. You hold Blue, and then we'll go. <laughs> Basil's probably gonna go for the other pile. Yeah, that's true, actually. I better separate them quite a bit. Right. <laughs> What's going on? Is mummy doing a little tree trail for you? <gasps> oh my gosh. Right, so this is the TikTok that we're recreating with Bazzy and Blue. <laughs> so let me show you. Hang on. I feel like we should put the Mario Kart music on because it can't. <laughs> Look at a little tail. <laughs> <laughs> she is, isn't she? Oh look, I think she might win. He went as well. Basil, come here. Then we, we need to put the Mario Kart music oh, on like this. So good, aren't you? Right, watch this. This is so cute. Little so cute. 
<laughs> he literally goes in the, in with the line. I don't think they're gonna do that though. Let's see. Right, should we see? Right. <laughs> he looks like a little owl. Okay, ready? <laughs> Right, which one of you two won? I think you're the tortoise and you're the hare, aren't you? Take it slow and steady. Get all the biscuits. You run straight to the pile at the end. <laughs> oh, bless them. That was so cute. Let me know if you try it with your dog. I think that's such a cute thing to do. Hello, everyone. I haven't actually even said hi today because I don't know why I haven't said hi. But um, I've just shown you the snow and my live workout, which, oh yeah, I did a live workout today, which you will have seen the footage for. Just thought last night, quite fancy it. I really, as I was saying yesterday, really, really miss doing them like regularly during the summer, like I did. So this last night I was like, actually, let's do one. So it was very, very fun. Anyway, <laughs> it's now Wednesday evening. I'm just actually about to pop on The Drowning. So I just started watching this. And to be honest, I mean, I do like it, but I think because it's a four episode season series, I'm just like, can that much happen? Like, I love a, I love a 22 episode series like Riverdale. <laughs> By the way, if you're watching Riverdale, how freaking insane is it right now? Literally the episode last week broke my heart and I am just so excited for tomorrow's time jump of seven years. I'm just mind blown. I can't wait to see Cole Sprouse as a, as a man. <laughs> I love a bit of Cole. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to leave this vlog here because I was editing it today and it is very long. And I think that is just because I had lots to catch up with you on and obviously like the house stuff I was updating you on and touring you on, as I said, giving you a tour, <laughs> which obviously took up quite a lot of time, but yeah i was gonna obviously film throughout the i was actually thinking of even doing like a reaction of after that riverdale episode tomorrow but it will just turn into an hour video we don't need that because that is almost like a film <laughs> um also report on my nails it hasn't gone well so this is how my nails are looking two of them have hearts left so I don't think my method was that great. I think I probably did need nail glue and I think it would work much better on like gel polish rather than normal polish so that it really like gets stuck in there. So, I mean, I say I would try it, but I, I mean, I don't know if you remember during summer, I did try the whole gel nail thing and it just didn't work. <laughs> Not very good at DIY, but I try. I do love doing DIY like little fun things though, which I did a lot during the summer and I kind of just was like, I got to a point where I was like, I can't be asked anymore. Cause obviously during lockdown, the first one, it was sort of a thing to sort of try all these different things. But actually now looking back, it was so much fun. So that's why I'm trying to do more things again where I was getting a bit lazy with it. But I mean, everyone sort of disses banana bread and tie dye, but I loved that. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again because it made me happy and if that makes you happy and doing like little things like that make you happy then definitely do them too. I'm gonna have a little hunt for some new fun things to do like that little dog thing was so fun to do. That's, that's just down to TikTok. TikTok has so many fun little things you can try out on. But anyway, <laughs> I am gonna love you and leave you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming to watch and coming back after my little Hi hiatus hiatus I don't know why I decided to say that word anyway thank you so much for watching this vlog I really hope you enjoyed it I will hopefully see you very soon for another video which will include some DIY slash I'm quite nervous for another reason what 
that is going to be in the video which I'm filming tomorrow so I will see you hopefully there on Thursday thank you so much for watching and I really hope you're okay sending you so much love and I will see you very soon